people, let's get started with the Python. So here we have a REPL IT. Since we're not gonna do scripting in this video, I'm just gonna have the the interactive uh, the REPL. That's why it's called the REPL IT uh, here, uh, taking the whole space. So uh, in this uh, window. Uh, you, you can write uh, Python one uh, statement at a time and uh, then uh, that statement is executed, evaluated and uh, the result is echoed on the screen. Today, uh, from the lecture notes, uh, we're gonna be looking at uh, the expressions. So the next video is gonna be about the scripts. So uh, how to write uh, arithmetic uh, in Python. So uh, to get started with the Python, uh, Python, like every major programming language, uh, has uh, arithmetic uh, as a subset of the language, so you already know that much Python. So we can, for example, ask Python how much is 2 plus 2, uh, so uh, it goes back uh, the answer 4. Now looking at a bit more uh, bigger cam computation, Double asterisk is the exponentiation, not the caret sign. Caret is a completely different operator, bitwise exclusive, or we're not gonna be encountering that one for a while. But we can calculate, as you can see, pretty big powers computers can do them quickly. So 123 raised to the 456 power. So the result is a behemoth of this kind of nature. Now let's say, could we find out somehow how many digits there are. I don't feel like counting these by hand. So uh, now we can take a sneak uh, preview. So here the official documentation. This is the built-in functions of the language. So built-in, anybody starts a Python. So this is uh, all this stuff is, is there. So you can write your Python code uh, knowing that if you use this, then everybody else uh, can always be running your code. And uh, then the, this same documentation also shows you the built-in uh, library modules. So uh, all the things uh, that are available, uh, just uh, you have to make them available. But uh, the functions that we're gonna be looking at, uh, here is a handy function, len. You give it something and it tells you how big it is. Well, fortunately, integers don't have a length uh, in this sense. But uh, we first are gonna be converting our integer into a string. So here is another handy function, str. Give it something and it uh, gives you a text string. So text is called a string in a computing. And uh, now by using this, so we need the length of, uh, what do we need the length of? We need the length of the string. Notice you can nest this function cause they're evaluated inside out. Now uh, this uh, previous uh, number, so I could write the expression, but uh, just to show something, the single underscore name in the Python interactive environment refers to the result of the most recent computation. So at this point it would be that humongous number that we see. So we'll take that integer, convert it into a text. So text is the characters and then we take the length of the text. So we find out that uh, there is 953 digits uh, in that uh, number. Now the integer arithmetic, uh, we, uh, there's a couple of little pitfalls there, we gotta get uh, used to them. So uh, first uh, the division, so what happens uh, when you divide uh, a number by another number? This seems to be frozen for, so yeah, Repul does that occasionally. Sometimes it just uh, loses the connection, unfortunately. So if you work on Spider or such, uh, or locally, so then you don't uh, see this kind of lagging. So how much is uh, 12 divided by 3? So the answer, uh, always given by the single division when you apply it to the basic numbers, the answer is always a decimal number. Notice even if the answer could be an integer, the answer is still a decimal number. Now the decimal numbers are highly problematic in computing, as we'll soon see. But uh, before that, so this is the annoying thing that they just have to get in the habit of that uh, in the graded labs, when we do division on, on integers, we did basically all the time uh, use uh, the integer division. So double slash is the integer division that uh, gives you the integer part of the result. So uh, even if uh, the division doesn't go exactly, notice uh, you get uh, the integer part. Now the percent sign, for, uh, so somebody made the decision uh, uh, decades ago that in some language that the percent means uh, 
the remainder has nothing to do with percentages but is the remainder if you divide 13 by 3 how much is left over so you would have one left over if you divide that 12 by 3 then the remainder will be zero. Now what is wrong with the decimal numbers is easily illustrated with the simple example that shouldn't be difficult even for a little kid could do this but can a computer do this so 0 0.1 plus 0 0.2 reasonable person expects 0 0.3 as the answer but that doesn't get that gets something that is slightly off and the reason for this is the way that the decimal numbers are uh, represented inside a computer and this is coming all the way from your computer's processors, the, the arithmetic unit, uh, the floating point unit. Uh, Python is just uh, reporting the answer that it received and uh, the problem is that uh, we humans uh, tend to think in base 10. It is natural for us, uh, most people don't even realize that the basis exists, but computers uh, operate on base 2 and uh, the floating point uh, represents using base 2 instead of base 10 uh, none of these numbers 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 can be exactly represented in base 2 and uh, the floating point uh, calculations always give uh, the closest uh, representable result uh, compared uh, to the true result so uh, floating point uh, results are gonna be uh, slightly off in general it doesn't matter in engineering if you round uh, to the three decimals or so so it is still uh, the correct answer that you wanted but uh, here uh, so uh, for the graded labs uh, the results have to be exactly the same everywhere and uh, therefore we're not gonna be using floating point numbers so uh, you can use floating point numbers if you accept the reality that they can be slightly off and uh, long computation if, especially if it's chaotic so small differences in the results uh, they can blow up to be big uh, differ uh, small, small differences in the initial value sorry they can blow up to be big uh, differences in the result so uh, this is the integer arithmetic and uh, floating point uh, arithmetic next uh, we're gonna be looking at uh, the text strings 